I just finished curling my hair using a flat iron. You can check that out on one of the other videos. And I'm going to soften up the curl using the Brilliantine by Bumble and Bumble. So I just use about that much, like two pea sizes, emulsify it, and apply it into my hair. And I'm going to do a braid. And first figure out where you're parting, where you want it to be. I want it to be there. I like how that looks, the balance. And I'm not a fan of a really straight part on myself. But if you like a straight part, that's okay. Just make it nice and straight. But I'm going to leave it a little bit crooked. So I'm going to start in the back of my part. And take like a little tiny section. There we go. And I'm going to divide that in three. And I love braids because it gets the hair out of your face and it looks just a little bit more put together and it just adds more texture to your hair. So starting off with the three strand braid, taking the outside one and alternating sides and going over the middle one and at the same time I'm adding a little bit of hair as I go and if you've never done a French braid it's like a three strand braid and then you just add a little piece of hair to every single section as you go so I want it to be closer to my hairline so I'm really dragging the braid over towards the front And I keep my hands towards the front, and that makes it a lot easier. Because if you migrate your hands towards the back, the braid starts be, uh, becoming more in the center over here rather than in the front. So just taking my three-strand braid, adding a little piece of hair, and then taking my middle section and going under that one. So it's nice and tight, but it doesn't have to be. When I first started doing braiding, especially on myself, it was always loose and a little sloppy. And I actually prefer it that way because right now it's a little too tight for my taste. So here's my strand. I take my thumb. I add it to my strand and then I just pull it over the middle one. And now I'm just going to braid it nice and loose and I'm going to stop right there because now what I want to do is I'm going to start loosening this up just to give it a little bit more texture. I mean the braid looks really pretty right now but I like it to look a little undone just makes it gives it a little bit more of an edge so I'm just pulling pieces out you can pull the whole thing or just little bits of it I like to just push that up And you can add this to like a ponytail or just like a whatever or a down style kind of how I'm doing it there we go I love that so I want to match this before I put an elastic on it just pulling little pieces out all right so now I have a nice fat little braid and if you and if you have bangs you could totally do this style too You'll just have like little tiny like pieces coming out of it, but that looks really good. So I'm taking an elastic and just wrapping it around. And what I find is that when you have a little bit of a curl at the end, it's a lot easier to control a braid. So I'm just going to recurl that. And then you could either leave it down, pin it back like this. But what I want to do is I, I'm just going to wrap it under just a little bit. So I'm wrapping it back. And I'm going to hide that rubber band. And I'm taking a bobby pin. And again, I'm not opening up a bobby pin. It's really rare that you need to open up a bobby pin. They work so much better if you just insert them while they're closed. They, they, grab hair on their own. 
So one at the bottom, one at the top. Let's see. That looks pretty good. What do you guys think?